Welcome back, my name is Carla Calderon and if you're watching this video it's because you're wondering how come I decided to quit data. So continue to watch this video to find out. Let me start off by saying that Dada is an online company in which you teach students who live in China English. And the reason I'm making this video is because lately I've been getting asked a lot of questions about Dada. And then I decided, hey, why not put it in a video so that way it's easier for me to share with you guys. So um, the reason that I wanted to do this mainly was, you know, like to explain the reason I decided to not renew my contract with them. But I'm going to try to talk about the pros and then the cons. So let me start with the pros. The pros is that whenever I started working with uh, Data, I had a lot of students my first day. I was booked back to back. Now, something that I did that was totally crazy is that I was working this uh, crazy schedule because that's what they had available. And it was the only thing that I could pick and I was in the weekend so I was working from Friday Saturday morning and then from Saturday morning to Sunday morning what do I mean by that it's that I was working from 1 16 in the morning to 3 24 in the morning yes I know it was a crazy schedule and then on top of that don't forget I set a split schedule. So I was working also from five in the morning to eight, 12 in the morning. So I was able to last for a month in this schedule. I gotta say whenever the time change happened um, and we gained, lost an hour, I don't know what that was. But anyways, instead of me working at 116, now my schedule was from 12, 16 in the morning to 2 24 and then it was going to be from 4 in the morning to 7 12 in the morning so then that's when I decided you know what I'm just going to last a month and then I'm just going to you know like get out of that um, at least eliminate one of those slots so um, when was it October? no it was in November because see I was hired in September mid September and then October, I worked it fully like that. And finally in November is when I decided, you know what, I'm going to get rid of that five in the morning schedule because it was not gonna happen. It, I was too tired. Another good thing that everyone thinks at first is that um, if you don't have a student book, that you get paid. Well, let me tell you guys that with data, you don't really have a free spot to be honest you can get booked within seconds you can um, have a class just booked even in time in um, like I even had a phone call from data telling me hey you have a student that is waiting for you go ahead and log in right now otherwise it's going to count like you were absent so that was the first time that I freaked out because I was like wait what but I checked my schedule I didn't have anybody well you have to refresh and make sure that you don't have a student um, that was just added. Another pro about Data is that they um, set up the same student with you throughout your whole contract. So that's something that I really enjoyed. I had the same student at the same time, the same day. So I really love that. You don't need to have all this certifications in order to teach students. Uh, what do I mean by that is that um, certain companies like in VIP Kid, um, if you want to teach level one, you have to have this mock demo and you have to be accepted to teach um, level one. Well, with that, uh, you teach any student. When I say any student, you can have a student that is like four years old or up to, I had a 15 year old and that was actually my favorite student. So, um, yeah, so you can get booked from little kids to older kids. Another pro about data was uh, the way that you teach. Um, with other companies, you get time. You only have like, you have to teach for 25 minutes and you have to finish the whole PowerPoint or PPT as we all call it. Um, with data, you didn't have to, you work as the student adjusts to you. So I really like that about uh, data, but also they didn't give you really a specific uh, things for you to like say, you know, like some other companies, they tell you like, say this, say that. Um, 
or, and they give you recommendations and things like that, but not with data. With data, you pretty much have to like figure it out on your own. It's not like with VIP kit in which you have to finish that PowerPoint in 25 minutes. Oh, and by the way, with data, instead of teaching for 25 minutes, you actually teach 28. So, um, and you only have two minutes to move on to the next class, which now I guess this brings me into the cons about data. Um, the first day that I had, it was crazy. Like I just told you guys, I had kids back to back because they were trials and trials, they are only for 15 minutes and you only have like two minutes. And when I say like two minutes, it's because sometimes you take a little bit longer trying to say goodbye to the student, you know? So basically you have like less than two minutes if you want to run to the restroom, because again, remember you are contracted for that amount of time. So from 1216 to 224, I had to hold it because there was no way that I was going to be able to go to the restroom and come back. So I knew better that I had to go before I started my shift. So I know it was crazy, but that's something that I felt like, what if you're kind of sick, you know? But anyways, I'm glad I didn't have that problem. <laughs> So I received this email in which it says obviously that I was not using my uniform and um, the uniform is you have to wear blue and only blue that's like the only thing they want you guys to wear so I felt like really I mean I only did it once but apparently you get in trouble if you do not wear blue so I know there's another companies in which you are allowed to do that but not with that I, I lost the student as well because she decided not to continue with data because everything was repetitive. I was teaching, I think, the letters O to X over and over and over again. It was the same story for like five classes in a row. And even the parent, she was like, we already did this. And then I would tell her, no, because this is class number 16 and then um, the last class was class 15 remember this but it was the same story so I guess in their mind is like the more repetition the better which I get it too but then when you repeat too much the same it gets boring and the students don't really like it anymore you know another con about that which I don't think anyone really realizes this it's um, the way that you get paid they pay you in gents and then you have to convert that into dollars and whenever I convert into dollars it sounded pretty good like how much I was making but then turns out you have to pay a fee because they actually pay you in gens and you have to get that change into dollar money so that way you can get paid so to be honest, all this time that I worked for Dada, I never knew how much I was making unless, uh, I mean, the, the only reason I found out how much I was getting paid is whenever it was in my bank account. That's the reason that we signed up for this, you know, because we're trying to get have an extra income. Remember when I said that you get paid even if you don't get a slot not booked? Well, that is true, but you don't get the full amount. You only get half of it. So with that, I feel like it was just so much harder like to make the conversion and try to see like how much am I going to make. And then whenever I had like an idea, well, it wasn't really what I actually made. So then I pretty much just gave up on trying to figure out how much I was going to get paid for the month. Also, you do get paid only once a month. I don't think there was an option for me to get paid twice a month like in VIP Kid. With other companies like in VIP Kid, because that's who I work for now, fully, um, I get to choose the times that I wanna work. Uh, with Data, uh, whenever I signed my contract, whenever I said I was gonna work from that crazy schedule that I just told you guys, I had to work that schedule every time. So. If you're deciding to come to data then if you say i'm gonna work every friday from this time to that time then it's going to be every friday for the next six months to be honest, i never took off and the only time that i did was to go out of town uh whenever i went to for my spring break 
and that's the only time that I've requested off and it was two weekends in a row and this is what really upset me I guess because um, I had my student text me and he asked me where are you how come I haven't seen you and I had told him hey but remember that I'm out of town and he's like oh okay but then whenever he messaged me again he said um, because to be honest I didn't really check my uh, calendar ahead of time turns out they have removed him as my student so this was the 15 year old that he was really good I mean he was learning a lot of English and that kind of like upset me and I was so sad and turns out my kids um, they started to leave you know like I was like okay so what's going on also I guess it's because um, this is the time in which I needed to renew my contract and they told me that I had until April 15 not April 15 I'm sorry take that back I have a, I had until March 15 to let them know if I was going to continue with them or not and that's when I send them an email saying no because um, I didn't really give them a reason but my reason was they took my favorite student away so I had this favorite student I had actually um, four students so those were my four students that I loved so then I lost that one my favorite one who I had from the beginning and then they took away this other one and I was like you know what no I don't want to continue with data because I started looking into like the future you know like the next two weeks that I had whenever I came back from my vacation and those kids were not even in my schedule anymore those uh, those two and then so that means I still had two more to go well it turns out um, whenever I gave them the notice that I was not going to renew my contract with them they took them away so I didn't even get to say goodbye to my students and that's will hurt me a lot you know like I feel like that that's messed up I mean they should have let me say goodbye to my students but they didn't so and I am glad that WeChat exists because that's the only reason I was able to say goodbye to them you know so the last uh, two weeks of uh, the month of March I had all these new kids they were all trials and I try my best not to get attached, you know, because um, you get attached to the kids. I mean, let's be honest. Teaching is a work of art. That's um, my experience with Dada and the reason that I decided to quit and not renew my contract with them. Well, I hope this uh, video helps you out in deciding if you want to join Dada or if you want to join some other company later on and again I mean I want to be transparent with everyone this is what happened to me and the reason that I wasn't filming a lot of videos with Dada again it's because you know I wasn't really feeling it as much I love the kids okay but I didn't like you know everything else you know um, well I hope you guys like this video don't forget to please subscribe to my channel and to click on the bell so you get notifications as soon as i upload a new video thank you for watching and i will see you all next time